Good. Hey, uh, this week, mm. I want to take you somewhere dark, really, uh, and do a, a, a deep dive into the phenomenon that is Strava, the good, the bad, the ugly, and, mm-hmm. as I said, something dark. First off, the the act of Strava muling. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. <laughs> so, Unbelievable. I thought this – so – I thought this was a joke the first time I heard of it, the first time anyone sort of talked and I messaged you and it was an all caps message uh, that we have to talk. But pl- please. Um, well, I, I, that's, I mean, I'd had coincidentally, well, because it was around, but I'd had a non-running friend message me saying, are you, are you on this thing called Strava? And I was like, well, kind of, why? Like I, I wouldn't thought that they would know what Strava was. And, and then he says, um, oh, do you use mules? And I was like, what What are you talking about? And I had to look it up. I was like, what? And so, yeah, it was around the time that it was an influencer, wasn't it, it came out and sort of outed himself as a Strava mule. And in case anyone doesn't know, do you want to explain what a Strava mule is, Matt? Well, to mule, uh, that's, a, that's a term in ultramarathon running where one, if I was pacing Eugene in some races like Leadville, uh, the pacer can carry all the person's gear. So I could carry Eugene's, all his mandatory gear, all his water, all his food. And that is called muling, like oh, a mule. Like a mule. Um, and Strava muling is, I understand, when if I am struggling to keep up with mileage goals or goals that I might have, I don't know, told the entire internet that I was going to do, I might pay someone to run in my stead so that I could collect kudos followers and notoriety from that yeah so this guy who outed himself he and he did it quite brazenly and he wasn't like <clears throat> excuse me he wasn't like i'm apologizing for this he was like hey i'm available for for business and he he was about to go on a run he had two phones and a watch none of which were his and he oh, in fact well, no, i think one of the phones was his but he had logged into someone else's strava account and he was carrying someone else's phone and he had someone else's watch. And he was going to go for a run and record this run as if he was these clients of his. Uh, so it, it, it just beggars, why would you do that? Well, I think it's because, um, you know, there's that, there's that saying, what is it? Uh, we adopted the dark, they grew up in it. We're in a space now where people are, you know, probably getting into the second generation of being tech naive. And to my mind, the dopamine-based um, validation economy and the potential for real economy versus through notoriety and, and everything like that um, has has very real uh very real payoffs for some people, or I guess in people's heads. I, I, it's an anathema to me. I couldn't. I'd, I've got a shorter answer. Yeah, humans are dickheads. <laughs> is why, why you was like, come on, seriously, <laughs> seriously. Ah, oh, 